Alright everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make the DF player uh, work for your Arduino. Um, Alright, so first of all, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course you're going to want to wire up your DF player. So, it, if you've probably already done this if you've been struggling with it, but if not, I'm still going to show it to you. So, just look up DF player first link. Uh, if this isn't what your uh, DF player looks like, then probably got the wrong video. But anyway, so here is how you should basically wire your DF player. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Um, uh, you're gonna need a 1K resistor right here, and it is going to signal port. I know this is fairly odd. I thought that was a little bit weird as well. But anyway, just try to do it like this. Uh. I'll leave uh, the diagram on the on my website. If you're not watching from my website, if you're watching from YouTube, I'll put a link to my website and also to this page in the description. Um, so we don't really want to worry about all these things. It does it does have a a link to install um, a library. Uh, this library did not work for me. However, I have found uh, other libraries that do work right here I will put the links in the description and on my website as well I strongly encourage you to look at my website um, so basically you're gonna want to download download these two so there's zip files so I'm gonna put them on desktop Arduino I'm gonna make a new folder called this uh, vid for you guys video uh, and save in there, right? So I'm gonna want to download both of these. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to install in your library. There's a few methods you can do this. Uh, I'm gonna do this the method I personally think is simpler. It might not be the most user friendly, but you know. So you go into your local disk, which should be the C drive. Um, now, now sometimes your Arduino is going to be in program files, but for me it is in program files x86. And then you're going to want to go to Arduino and libraries. It's very important that you go through the C drive and not through documents. And you are going to need admin privileges to install your um, your libraries. So let me just open another file explorer. I have two screens, so it pops on my second screen. Uh, so you're going to want to go... Arduino vid right so I'm gonna extract these uh, real quick extract here uh, so these are you don't want to put the zip files in there and you want to make sure you, you extract them otherwise there's gonna be nothing in the files uh, so you want to do copy and go into your libraries that's on the C drive like I told you earlier and just uh, paste it in there now I don't want to replace it because I already have this stuff in there um, but anyway, once you're done, you're gonna want to start up. Uh, sorry, you're gonna want to start up Arduino, and you're gonna want to go in File, Example. And you're gonna want to go to uh, DF Player Mini MP3 Master, and you're gonna want to take Software Serial. Now, uh, this is what it's gonna give you right here. I have modified uh, the code with help of some friends uh, to make it usable with buttons because uh, you can do it I guess with uh, coding I'm not a great coder I'm more of a hardware guy so I decided to use buttons instead of simple coding so basically what I I changed I didn't change anything up here because um, that's pretty much good you know I, I it, you don't want to change anything that's in void setup but in void loop you're gonna want to change a few things so um Basically, what I did is I removed this whole part right here, and I said, while true, uh, this is C, I'm not great with C, I'll be honest, uh, while true, delay, delay uh, 1. and then semicolon so this is see I'm not very used to this and then this part right here doesn't matter uh, that was just 
from the old code. So anyway, if you do this, basically what it's going to do is that um, it's going to be able to play your song over and over and over again instead of um, having to stop it all the time. Uh, so what normally would have app would have happened with uh, the the old code? Uh, let me just try to put it back up. So what would happen is that you your first music would play and then it stop after six thousand milliseconds and then it go on to the next one, right? This is just uh, this is obviously just a example code, so you don't have to follow it. But the the problem with that is it only played six thousand milliseconds. That's not ideal unless your songs are 6,000 milliseconds and I didn't want to have to program it to fit each and every one of my songs because I wanted to put a lot of songs on there right um, so basically I made it go so that it would not uh, ever want to skip on to the next song it would just hold in a constant loop of it playing the same thing right so it's gonna keep on delaying forever which means it's not going to move on to the next song. Now, doing this means that it's never going to skip song on its, cell, on, on its own. That's why you're going to need buttons, and that's going to be in the second part of the video. I'm going to show you how uh, I set up mine. And um, so, yeah, this is basically the code that you need right here. I'm not going to save changes. Uh, and then you're going to need an SD card. Now, I am not sure if I have my SD card here with me or not. Uh, but, you know, it's basically just a USB drive or whatever is going to work. So, I do not have my SD card. Alright. So, I'm going to do this in a folder, but it's pretty simple. I'm also going to put a link to uh, um, what it is you were supposed to do. So, I'm going to call this SD card, sim, SD card simulator. Very original, thank you. Um, so, first thing you want to have in there is uh let me actually go look at it on the website so it's it's explained very simply on the website so um yeah so basically you're gonna want to have a folder called mp3 inside your sd card so new folder mp3 and in there uh you're gonna put your songs now the songs that you want to put in there uh it doesn't really matter what you name them so they they tell you to name it you know, with the, with a number first, which which you don't have to do. It just makes it so that you can decide what order they're gonna play. So they're gonna play for zero 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 one first, and then zero zero two. Now, if you don't put a number, it's gonna go uh, alphabet alphabetically or whatever. And um, so you don't you wouldn't really have as much control over which one's gonna go first, right? So let's. I don't need the libraries anymore, so let me go in uh, in music, see if I have anything. Yes, I do. Alright, so I downloaded this from YouTube. Uh, it's not illegal. It probably is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, and then you just want to paste the songs in here. So, you know, I see I'm a big Avenged Sevenfold fan. Um, so you're going to want to rename them. Uh, now, I'd like to leave the name of the song on there but you don't you don't have to so zero zero one and then you know i'm not gonna do the whole thing with you guys here but you can just do this uh i think you catch my rift and then you keep on going down now if i let's say wanted to have this song before this one then i could just rename it and put a three and see this one's now under afterlife which is a great song, by the way. You should check it out. Um, anyway, so uh, that's pretty much all you have to do software. Now, of course, you're going to want to uh, upload your code to your Arduino. Uh, so compile it first. Shouldn't have any problems. Worked fine for me. Uh, and then I don't have my Arduino right now. I'm going to have to do the second part of the video later. But anyway, and then you just upload it to your Arduino. Uh, and if you plugged in everything fine, then your first song should start playing if you have your SD card plugged in. Uh, so let's go on to the second part of the video now. Alright everybody, now for the second part of the video, I'm going to show you more of the hardware side. So, uh, I have it, I have the DF Player Mini connected right here. Uh, so I have added two buttons as you can see and a, a busy light. So, 
Um, I'll show you, I'll put a diagram uh, on how to wire this all up, but it's pretty simple. Uh, so basically I have the buttons right here. They used to just start and stop the music uh, and also change the volume. So if I short press, it's gonna change music. If I long press on the red button, the volume's gonna go up. Probably can't hear it with this song very well. All right. So now the volume's probably at max. If I lower it with this, see it goes down. And then it goes back up. Now I'm gonna show you how to wire this. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, I have it wired for a single speaker right now. I'm gonna plug this. So I have it wired for a single speaker right now. Uh, you can wire it for headphones. I have tried to do that a little bit, but not as much as I probably would you know, hope to be able to. Um, so maybe more on that in the future. But yeah, so I'll put a diagram, like I said. And um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.